What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Prodigy, and welcome to another video on the channel. Today, guys, I wanted to talk about something that is brought up every single day. Something that is brought up every single time a Smash event happens, every time a Nintendo event happens, every time, like, Smash is even, like, brought up, even thought about being brought up. Sora for Smash. I've made a couple of videos about this in the past, mostly speculating on the possibilities of Sora coming to Smash Ultimate. Is he going to come at the next Smash event? Maybe, maybe not. This video is talking about does Kingdom Hearts being on the Switch increase Sora's chances in Smash Ultimate? Sora is a character that has like topped a lot of polls in terms of like people wanting him to be in the game. A lot of people want Sora to be in the game. A lot of them being very vocal Kingdom Hearts fans, but a decent amount of your general gaming audience would want him to be in the game also. Kingdom Hearts has like risen in popularity like immensely since Kingdom Hearts 3 has come out and debatably has been popular like ever since the series conception. I mean, multiple entries in the series even even if smaller titles can easily break like two to three million copies when we're talking about number titles way more going on five six million this series is pretty pretty successful and there's a reason it's been going on as long as it has not only because the fans of the series are so loyal and because the game is so so good but because the game sells really well looking at what nintendo might want out of a smash character you think a lot about the marketing potential how many copies of arms can we sell on the switch how many downloads can we get of arms on the switch if you put min min in smash x company comes to nintendo we want to put hero in smash to advertise dragon quest 11 s coming to the nintendo switch and so on and so forth so maybe the recent argument what if we bring sora to smash and we get more sales for melody of memories on the switch further ensuring that we might be putting more kingdom hearts games on switch in general to increase like the want for nintendo fans to have kingdom hearts on their console even though there's already a pretty big demand for it. a lot of people want games like kingdom hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 on the switch 2.8 and kingdom hearts 3 and while i think those might be coming eventually i don't know how soon they'll be coming and it's especially up in the air right now with this pandemic and because we have the next gen consoles coming out so they're probably preparing versions of these games for that console it's really hard to say if Kingdom Hearts being on the Switch and Melody of Memories being on the Switch if it increases Sora's chances for Smash Ultimate because we don't even know if this game is going to be revolving around Sora. It seems like we're going to be playing a lot of him in this rhythm game like aesthetic but that's another thing. This is a rhythm game. Not to devalue it because I'm sure us Kingdom Hearts friends are going to eat it up to be honest and I'm probably going to make a lot of content about it. It's probably going to be the only thing you hear about towards the end of this year from me because I'm going to be in love with the story or i might be in love with the story i might love the gameplay might see me do challenges of melody of memories on streams with friends i hear it has co-op so i might be doing some of that melody of memories for kingdom hearts fans is going to be really really exciting however for this to be the kingdom hearts game you advertise to people who want to get into the kingdom hearts series because smash is a game that's perfect to bring newcomers into a series let's look at what smash did for persona i mean persona 5 was already a really popular game before joker came into smash but it was the only persona game you would even hear about by the time joker got into smash it's almost as if it got a second like boom in popularity and this was well before persona 5 royal scramble all that stuff joker coming to smash was a pretty big deal a lot of people didn't think it was possible and it got plenty of people into persona but it's like that's persona 5 this is melody of memories persona 5 is like a a, not a sequel to Persona 4 by any means, but it's a new mainline entry in the Persona series. Modi of Memories isn't necessarily a mainline entry. It's definitely a side title, although it's canon for use it as Kingdom Hearts fans. It's definitely not on the caliber of a Cage 3, Cage 4, or anything like that. A Cage 4 is the type of game you would advertise for Sora being in Smash. The type of game you would probably want fans to go after for Sora and Smash. 
not Melody of Memories. So does it increase Sora's chances to be in Smash? Maybe a little bit. I mean, it's not like Persona is necessarily on the Switch. It's not like Banjo is on the Switch. But it's heavily theorized by the Smash community and it's kind of sort of implied in a way that certain characters coming to Smash are just a lot more likely when they have a Switch port. Because I feel like there's some deals Nintendo makes with like companies a collaboration a mutual effort to advertise like both properties there's moments where nintendo wants to advertise their own properties like with arms and min min and then there's moments where they just give the fans what they want out of sheer demand like with banjo for example you can maybe put joker up there too but i feel like joker is more of a surprise thing to kind of set the standards for what you would think would come into smash makes a really good first uh fighters pass really uh sold them i do think sword is a lot more likely to come to Smash than a lot of other characters people want. And that's not just because of Kingdom Hearts bias, that's just because of like the people Sakurai is surrounded by, Kingdom Hearts previous history on Nintendo consoles, and just the high demand for Sora that's been around debatably since Brawl, and especially with Smash 4 and now Ultimate. It's really easy to get really hyped over a new character for Smash when you don't know who they are. That's kind of natural with any fighter's pass. I mean, it's a big reason developers aren't super super into making them. I mean, Sakurai said himself that he's not particularly a fan of, like, the fighter's pass, though that's what Nintendo wants. It's kind of just the way the industry is. It sucks a little bit not always knowing what characters are coming, and it builds up a lot of anticipation and puts a lot of weight on developers' shoulders, but these passes, these bundles, likely sell a lot more as a result. That mystery that people latch onto of, what if? What if this character is Gino? What if this character character is Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. I don't know, I'm just making up stuff. Dante from Devil May Cry, that's a better one. What if this character is Hayachi? Like, people get really caught up in that. What if this character is Sora? I want Sora to come to Smash. I really, really do, but I don't know if Melody of Memories really increases his chances to come to Smash Ultimate. It's a little up in the air. I feel like it might slightly, but I'm also really tempted to say it just doesn't at all because I feel like we will never know if a character has more of a chance to be in Smash or less of a chance to be in Smash. Based off of things like that, I really think it's just random, kind of, who makes it in the game. Maybe not random, but just unpredictable. Like, it's hard to predict who's going to be in Smash. I mean, despite, like, the ARMS character being, you know, a Nintendo IP, a lot of people were not expecting arms because a lot of people were expecting that in the base game. A lot of people weren't expecting buy left in uh, Smash Ultimate and we kind of saw how that turned out for fans. Lots of dislikes, a lot of raging, but I mean, we still didn't expect it. But hey, if Sora comes to Smash, just know that you will see a lot more Smash content from me and that will be a fact. I already play a lot of Smash without Sora being in. And if Sora's in Smash, you can be very positive that I will be one of the first people to make a video, a reaction about it. But that'll be about it for me for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, share the video with a friend or a family member, and uh, last but not least, if you have not already and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is hit that red little subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.